Hello everyone and welcome back. In this lecture, we're beginning our project of stock portfolio analysis with Python. Our first step will be to build a stock portfolio. So join me in Google Colab, colab.research.google.com. We're going to get started in a new code cell. First, we're going to install the Y Finance package. This is going to allow us to use Yahoo Finance to scrape data. Then I'm going to import the Y Finance package. Next up, I'm going to create a data variable to store our data. For that, we use Y Finance and call the download function to download some data. Here I can pass in the stocks that I want to get, followed by a start date like 2020-01-01 -01, and an end date like 2022-01. And we can grab a certain column like the closing column. Now, what should be our stocks? Well, you can pass in any list of stocks here that you'd like, such as BTC-USD, as well as ETH-USD, Doge-USD, and Matic-USD. Then you can run your code cell. And once the download is complete, you can inspect your data. For example, the first five entries you can inspect with the head column, with the head function. So here we have the date followed by the closing price for each of our four stocks. So this will represent our stock portfolio. Okay, now we can also calculate the daily returns of each of our stocks. For that, I'm going to create a new code cell. I'm going to create a returns variable, which will take my data and use the percent change function on it. Then we can call returns.head to inspect our results. The first row is NAN because you can't calculate returns if you don't have a previous day. But then for all the other days, we have the returns now. So previously we had the closing price, but now we have the returns. So we have a different data frame this time. We can also drop our null values by overriding the variable with the drop NA function. And then we can inspect the returns data frame this time. So we just removed that first row, which had a null value. So this will be our stock portfolio. We have our stocks and we also have returns calculated. Coming up next, we're going to learn how we can calculate the portfolio's performance. So don't miss the next lecture. Hello everyone and welcome back. Previously, we created our stock portfolio. In this lecture, we're going to calculate our portfolio's performance. So join me back in your project. We are going to calculate our average daily returns by taking our returns and using the mean function. Then we can print out the value of our average daily returns. So for Bitcoin, we have 0 0.003. For Doge, we have 0 0.01. For ETH, we have 0 0.006. And for Matic, we have 0 0.01. Next, we're going to calculate the sample standard deviation. This will measure the dispersion of the data set relative to its average. And it's calculated as the square root of the variance. If data points are further away from the average, there's a higher deviation. Therefore, the data is more spread out and there's a higher standard deviation. So this will give us insight into the stock's historical volatility. So to calculate the standard deviation returns, we're going to create a variable called standard deviation daily returns, and we use returns.std. Then we can print out the value of the standard deviation daily returns. So for Bitcoin, we have 0 0.04, Doge 0 0.16, ETH 0 0.05, and Matic 0 0.09 approximately. Right, so here we can calculate that dispersion of the data set. As well, let's calculate the portfolio weight. This is the percentage of our portfolio that a particular asset has. So we can divide the dollar value of the stock by the total dollar value of the portfolio. So let's define the weights for our portfolio. We're going to create weights and use the numpy.array function. 
And let's specify our weights. So for Bitcoin, let's say we have about 30% of Bitcoin. For Doge, 1% or 10% rather. For ETH, let's say we have 60%, so 0 0.6. And so that leaves us with nothing for Matic, so we'll have to change this up. 0 0.5 for ETH and 0 0.1 for Matic. So in total, you should add this up to be one because it's 100% represented as a decimal. So we have 30, 40, 90, 100. So these will be the weights for each of our stocks. Now we're using NumPy, so we do have to import the NumPy library in order to use the NumPy array type. Next, we're going to calculate the pairwise covariance of our columns. Covariance evaluates how the average values of variables move together. If Bitcoin's stock return moves higher whenever Doge's return moves higher and Bitcoin's moves lower whenever Doge's moves lower, if the returns have that correlation, then the stocks are said to have positive covariance. So let's calculate a covariance metric using our daily returns. Let's create that covariance matrix and we're going to use our returns.cov function. Then we can multiply the values by 250. And let's print out our results of the covariance matrix. All right, so Bitcoin to Bitcoin, we have the covariance. Bitcoin to Doge, we can see the covariance. And same thing in the opposite direction, they have the same covariance. Okay, so here we have the average values we have the calculation of how the average values of the stocks move together. All right, so we can see we have positive covariance for our stocks. Next, we can calculate the expected performance of our portfolio. So for this, we're going to create a variable expected portfolio performance. To that, for that, we use numpy.sum to get the sum of our average daily returns multiplied by our weights. Then we can print out the expected portfolio performance. Okay, so we have 0 0.006. That is our portfolio return. Let's add a portfolio returns column to our returns data frame. So we'll create here portfolio returns and we'll use returns and use the dot function, which is multiplication, to multiply the returns by the weights. Then we can call returns.head to inspect the first five values. So here we have the returns in our whole portfolio. So for each of the four columns, first we have the returns per stock. Then we have the total returns, which takes each return and multiplies it by the weights, the dollar value of how much you've invested into each of these stocks. As well, we need to calculate cumulative returns for that, we're going to create a variable daily cumulative returns. We take one plus our returns and we use the CUM prod function. This stands for cumulative product over our data frame. And then we can print out our daily cumulative returns. So the daily cumulative returns come in the form of a data frame. So you can access the head function. So here we have our daily cumulative returns. So what this is calculating is over time, how much do you have in returns? So you can start at the beginning and then you can check out the tail or end of the data frame and see where you finish off with each stock in terms of the returns. All right, so that is how you can calculate your stock portfolio performance and your cumulative returns. Coming up next, we're going to make this visual and visualize our portfolio returns. If you liked this video, then go to training.mammothinteractive.com. We have tons more content on blockchain, web development, machine learning, and much more. We also have a membership for just $19 a month where you can get access to our 372 course bundle and counting.